messenger angel. I transform lives. Today is Saturday, 24th of April, 2021. With Pastor Chris teaching, our topic for today is, Don't be at ease in Zion. Our theme scripture is taken from Amos 6 verse 1, and it says, Woe to them that are at ease in Zion, and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came. Hallelujah. There are those of us who have learned the truth. Pastor begins, we've received the word. And through the word, we are triumphant every day, living a wonderful and fulfilling life. Hallelujah. However, we must still give attention to helping those who haven't known the truth yet. Those who haven't understood the word of God yet. Praise God. We've got to care about our brothers and sisters all over the world, especially those in prison or experiencing all kinds of hardships. Until and unless we brought them in, it's not over. It's not over as long as Satan is deceiving others and seeking to destroy lives. Pastor says we can't be at ease in Zion. Glory to God. Read the Lord's touching words in Amos chapter 6 verse 6 of the NIV. It says, you drink wine by the bowl full and use the finest lotions, but you do not grieve over the ruin of Joseph. Wow. Pastor says, when you hear about churches being burnt or priests and pastors and ministers being incarcerated unjustly because of their commitment to the gospel, don't ask like it doesn't concern you. Get on your knees and pray. Hallelujah. Oh, don't think only of yourself. Until the name of the Lord Jesus Christ is celebrated in every country, pastor says it's not over. Be it those in the presidency or in the prime minister's office or among monarchs, etc. Pastor says we have to realize that God has given us an assignment to pray for them and reach them with the gospel. Hallelujah. We have to bring others into the peace, love and joy that God has given us. Otherwise, our job isn't done. So, keep preaching and teaching others God's word. Keep interceding for men and women all around the world to come into God's light and righteousness. And at the end, you can boldly affirm, I fought a good fight. Glory to God. Oh, thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take a prayer now from the bottom of our hearts. Please say after me, Blessed Lord, by your spirit you are refining the mind of your children around the world bringing them into deeper knowledge and understanding of your word as we your children all over the world teach and preach your truth today there's a mighty harvest and many are translated from darkness into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God.